Hey guys, NJ Kelly Garner here. I have a surprise for you guys. I just finished the demo on liquid feed to my uh, citrus trees and some of my vegetables. But however, I just got a huge, huge uh, a surprise for you guys. Very quickly, we're gonna go to this little, this little surprise here. I went, I was snooping around, looking at some uh, some things, and saw that my local nursery had a special sale today just today and and when and i made the phone call to make sure my local nursery green acres knew about this and lo and behold they didn't i don't think they actually paid it attention so they had to look for their cells and see that it was true um because it came up out of nowhere i believe but when I got there, they had it on the in the area that this special item was on sale. So, yeah, it's it's funny. That was, it was funny because I it just popped out of nowhere. They was like, oh wow, they was shocked themselves. So they had to, you know, they had so many, um, I believe, in stock that they had to put them on sale. But I got a great it was a great deal. I'm not gonna go into how much it cost. Let's go and see this new surprise. So as you guys know, I have four citrus trees. Four. That's a blood orange, my, my lemon, Aurora Sesuma, Mandarin, and a Washington navel. Now, this is a fruit tree. My first fruit tree ever. There's three more trees, um, fruit trees, that I would like to have my possession, and that would be it. But however, I want you guys to see my new addition. Welcome the don white donut peach. AKA known as the Salsa Swirl Peach or Sousa Swirl Peach, if I'm saying it correctly. Now, this tree is required 450 hours of uh, chill hours. And it goes, I believe it's, it's actually below 45, and then could. Or uh, 450 uh, chill hours or less under 45 degrees self fruiting. Now, I do know it gets under 45 degrees in my zone, my location in the Sacramento region. That's you know, y'all know that's the capital, as Organic Best Urban Garden always says. Now, him, uh, GarnerGreens.com, Lee Farmer 73, Plant Abundance. The vegan athlete and the MI gardener, those are my mentors that I look up to in gardening. They know a lot about gardening. Um, I'm a rookie gardener, as I always say. I don't know much. But I do have a lot of product, a lot of fruit, and a lot of citrus and vegetables in my garden this year alone. Because I want to take that risk and learn and, and see what I can grow and what I like and what I don't like. Okay? So, with that being said... They, from just watching them and learning from them, I learned that if it grows, if it's at your local nursery, this product, say at this fruit tree, then that means it can grow in your area. So I am, and this is okay. I want to say this now. I don't know if you guys know, but this actually this variety is Dave Wilson's newest uh, variety for 2018. This has been said from them on that this is their new variety. And I remember not too long ago hearing that from him, from their company. And so this tree does need pruning. Now, I want your, you guys' opinion. Should I go ahead and prune this tree? And look how tall it is. And I'm going to stand back because I want y'all to see, get a good look. I'm going to stand all the way back until, see that? Do you see that, guys? See how tall that is? And it's in a fiber pot. Uh, I believe so. I believe it's like a five-gallon pot. I'm not sure. But I need you, you guys' this help. Comment below. Let me know what I should do. Um, I am going to keep, when it gets cold, uh, winter time, fall winter time, I'm going to remove move this tree from this um, its location and place it uh, closer uh, to my house, I believe in the opposite direction where the sun is so that it can bounce the heat from that uh from that wall can bounce off to the tree itself 
that's a great that's a that's a, a little tip for you guys that are growing um in containers or even growing the ground to if you have a tree that's that's uh that's required uh heat and look at that i don't know if i can see that now but something is see that oh wow that was a bee y'all honey bee uh it got my attention <laughs> but anyway yeah if it's like real cold and your trees need that warmth you can use your home as a south facing area to warm to keep your trees warm and acclimated uh, towards the heat so with that being said guys i'm gonna go until next time it's nj kelly Gardner signing off thank you that's for greatness please like and subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure you uh you hit the notification the bell to get notifications uh to my channel thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in nj kelly Gardner. remember i'm signing out and you're for greatness peace